Hello and welcome to Magic AutoCAD. In this part of tutorial, we shall talk about the sweep tool. In order to find the sweep tool, you go up to the extreme left on the modeling panel. Then you're going to drop this down. Then here you have your sweep tool. So today we're going to be exploiting the sweep tool and its properties. So let's get started. Before you start working, make sure your statue toggles is adjusted like mine and uh, your workspace is switched to 3d modeling so the first thing we have to do here is to draw a spline path okay using the spline line okay you come up here under the draw panel then you're gonna see this spline command then you click on the spline plane then you come down to your workspace then you start it somewhere here then you move up okay it depends on how you want to make yours look like then enter then now let's go to the polygon let's go to the polygon you can go to any other uh, object okay to any other geometry like a square rectangle but for now let's use a polygon and in this polygon I would like us to use a pentagon five size okay type in five enter then you come here and it's gonna snap at this end then here you're gonna see inscribe in circle you enter then now you give you estimate the radius it should not be too large okay the radius should not be too large you just estimate the radius here let's click it there the reason why I say this radius should not be too large, the geometry should not be too large because it won't be able to turn at these uh, wave angles. Because here you can see that our wave length is too short and the wave height is too short. So if you select a bigger radius of your geometry, it's not going to be able to turn around this path. So from here we go to the sweep tool over here then you yeah you click on the sweep tool then you select your object then enter then on the command line you'll be asked to select sweep path okay you come up to select the sweep path then this way you're gonna realize then from here I think you cannot really see the object then we go to we come over here to this view then let's select multiple view then here let's go over here to this first object then we select then now I would like us to go to realistic okay let's put it to realistic so that you really see then let's go to the rotate command yeah you rotate so this is how your objects gonna look like okay this is how it looks like then you escape exit then let's come back to this one and uh, we go to realistic okay then now let's orbit yeah so you're gonna see the same object okay so it's the same okay then exit then from here let's go back to initial come up here to go back let's undo very fast yeah so here we are now we're gonna be talking about another property of this swift tool let's go back to the swift tool then you click on the sweep then select your object then enter as usual then on the command line you're gonna see twist okay you select on this twist then now they're gonna ask you to to enter twist angle and uh, before entering your twist angle remember a circle is a uh, 360 so in this case I would like us to select 360 okay so this twist angle is going to alternate okay it's going to alternate in a spiral movement along this path okay to twist this object to the end okay to the end of the selected angle so in that let's type in 
360 sorry 360 then enter and then now you'll be asked to select the sweep path and then now we select the sweep path then now you're going to see that this object has been twisted okay yeah let's go to realistic and see what we got then we rotate so you're going to see that this object have been twisted okay it has been twisted to an angle of 360 okay there we are let's now look at other related options we we'll go back to the sweep tool left click then select your object enter then you come to the command line you'll be asked to enter the scale you see scale you click on the scale then on this scale any scale that you select okay any scale that you select is going to increasingly widen the span through this length okay it's increasingly going to widen the span through this path to the end point okay to the maximum which means that if you select a scale of two then the initial point is going to be at uh, initial and the end is going to be two and then if you select three you're going to have uh, the same at initial and then at the end you're going to have three you select four it's going to be like that okay so it's let's now go to type in two then enter then now let's select the path okay select the path then here you're gonna see that this path remains at initial while this path have doubled okay it has increased up to two so let's go now to realistic to see what we got okay then you're gonna see that this path remains at initial meanwhile this end path remains at has gone to the selected scale because we selected two now let's try and rotate to see okay so that is what you have this is what you have then escape exit then let's undo and see another example let's delete this one i like us to delete this one And then we we'll go back to the spline. And let's draw a spline, a straight spline, okay? A straight spline this time around. Then enter. Then we we'll go to the polygon. We we'll type in enter. Inscribe in circle, enter then let's open it wider okay good now let's select a scale let's go back to the sweeps tool enter then we come here let's select a scale this time around let's type in four okay enter then the path then you're going to see how wide this path is okay so you see that the initial remains as it was meanwhile this one has increased by four of the initial okay so if you have to put this into realistic you're gonna see that we got something of this nature okay <laughs> so thank you for learning please subscribe to my channel thank you